Whatever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, first we have McDonald's, okay, with Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna use the U in the Dunkin' logo, flip it, and make that be the McDonald's art. And then I think we have to call it McDunkin'. And I'll figure out which colors to use once I get started. Okay, I'm gonna down the opacity on McDonald's so we can see it a little better. Then I'm gonna isolate the U, flip it, and resize it. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate it. And using that same M, I'm gonna bring that down to spell out McDunkin. And I use the U for the C. But I wanna make them the same pink as the little apostrophe, so I'm just gonna color those in. And lastly, I need to remove this part, and here's the final result. I love, love, love all the colors in this and how the arch looks in the Duncan font. I don't think I'd wanna eat here, but I like the logo design. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. All right, what's it gonna be? Okay, Pixar and DreamWorks. Wait, the rivalry of it all. Okay, so my initial thought is to call it PixWorks and somehow incorporate both the black and the blue into it to get both logos. And I'm envisioning the DreamWorks boy like throws out his line and then he's about to reel it in and instead of reeling in a fish, he reels in the lamp. Okay, I cut out just the word works and turned it black, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on Pixar, just masking out the beginning. Okay, I've got that all together, now I'm just gonna bring in the fishing DreamWorks boy and place it right here. Now I'm gonna flip this upside down, drag it up here, and here's the final result. The DreamWorks boy is fishing for the little lamp in the Pixar logo. This was definitely a little bit of a simpler one, but I love the overall result. It's playful, it's fun. I think it matches the two brands together perfectly. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, what are we gonna get? Okay, Burger King plus Dairy Queen. Wait, this is gonna be a perfect matchup. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is fill the red in and that's gonna become the bun. Then we're gonna keep the word burger and replace it with queen in the DQ font. So the first thing I need to do is just paint over any part that's white right here. I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna use the Burger King logo as a reference to place them. Okay, I've got them sandwiched like that. Now I'm gonna mask out the word burger. I found this extended logo online so I just need to mask out the word queen from this one. I'm gonna move that into place. Lastly, I'm gonna pick up the bun color from Burger King and replace all the letters with that color and here is the final result. I could have predicted exactly what this looked like from even just the jump, but I do think it looks really cool. Also, do you think they would sell the same kind of burgers or something different? I don't know. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and if you would eat at this restaurant. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, we have Butterball and Ocean spray. Okay, wait, this is perfect for Thanksgiving. Let's go. Okay, these logos are actually a lot more similar than I thought. I'm thinking for the name, we call it butter spray. And I try to make this ocean wave look like it's made of butter. So let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna start by trying to change the hue and saturation. Oh, okay, that's kind of working on the top one. So I, what I might have to do is get this like close and then just change it like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we just need to take out the word ocean and grab the word butter. Okay, I turned it white and I'm just gonna skew it so it matches the other one and here is the final result. This one is definitely a little bit more simple, but I love the design and the colors and I just think it's a very successful logo. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, what do we have? Applebee's and Cheesecake Factory. Ooh, kind of a little rivalry going on, and I have an idea. Okay, first and foremost, when I hear Applebee's, I hear apple cheese. So I'm thinking we call it the Apple Cheese Factory and somehow mix all of this logo together. And then I wanna make the apple look like it's made out of Swiss cheese. So first I'm gonna take the word cheese and put it up here, yes. Same thing with the word the, and then fit factory right underneath all of it. Now I'm gonna make the apple yellow. 
and add some circles to give the illusion of a Swiss cheese. Drag that into the logo and here is the final result. I also mocked up what it would look like on the outside of a restaurant and it looks so cool. I love how this logo turned out. I think it looks even better when you put it on that mock-up like I did. And I just love the name and the little cheese apple. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.